so we need to create a new user um, for our key cabinet, for example. And we can do this through the users menu and we can assign them uh, a credential, for example, and give them access to keys. It's really simple to do. I can show you how to do that right now. And all we need to do is we can hover over the home icon at the top and go to users. Once we're in the users menu, we can go to the creation option, which is always in the top right corner for create user. And it will give us a blank form field to fill out. We can then give it a name. So the minimum you need to put in is a terminal display name. However, we always recommend if you can put a first and last name in and an email address if you can as well. From here, we can just finish off the last bits to do with the proxy side of things. And it's very simple. Just check to make sure that they're valid. We can set the terminal user level. So as a user, they've got access to any keys that they've been assigned. If we give them administration access, it gives them access to a background admin menu at the terminal. We can also set the maximum number of simultaneously borrowed key tags. If it's set to unlimited by default, if they've got access to 10 keys, they'll be able to take all 10 keys out at one time. If I set this to one, for example, they'll be able to take one key out. But if they try and take a second one out, even though it's assigned to them, it won't let them take it. Once we're done, we can click Save. And you'll see the new user has appeared on the left hand side. Though we've created them, we do need to give them a means to identify themselves at the terminal. And we can add the credential while we're on their user account here. This will take us straight, straight through to the credentials page where we can create a new credential for this particular user. And if it's a card number, for example, we can, if we know the card number, we can certainly type it in. If not, you can use an RDL5, for example, to teach in the card number. We can set a validity period against the card if you wished. And if the card is lost, stolen or disabled, for example, uh, if we check any of those, that this card will stop working at the terminal. Once we're happy, we can click Save. And you'll see the credential appear on the left hand side. We can always shortcut back to the user by clicking the user icon. And then all we need to do is give them some access. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can put them into a user group where they've got access to keys. We can assign them individual keys if we wished. Or we can even assign them key tag groups. Once they've got the access, you can have a quick check in the terminal to see if they've been assigned the terminal automatically because the keys have been assigned and that user should be good to go.